Tucky. Tucker. Tucker. Where is he? I think I heard him over here. Tucky! Good boy! Hi, Tucky! Come here, Tucky! Good boy, Mr. Squeak! He's so cute! He's so cute! Who doesn't love coming home to a dog? They're just so happy to see you, even if you've been gone for five minutes. He likes getting his, his booty rubbed. Okay, so, I'm gonna get started. I have a few things I want to do today. Um, if you, oh, the mailman's here. Tucker's gonna start barking. Tucky, what do you want? Tucky, what do you want? You wanna go outside? Yes, he wants to go outside. Tucky, what, oh. <laughs> Tucky, we're gonna go outside in a second, okay? One second. <laughs> he can't wait. I'm getting the box that we use for uh, all like the, I don't know, all the keys and important documents and stuff for the boat, for my little Key West boat, because I got home the day before yesterday. So my goals right now, being back home, are to kind of do some New Year cleaning or organizing of my little Key West boat, which you may have seen in previous videos, or uh, if you're new here, you I'll show you it. I was a little 17 foot Key West. Today I'm kind of doing some like New Year's, just cleaning and organizing. Looking at my boat and kind of seeing what it needs and want to do some upgrades and fix some things and stuff like that. So I know it needs a few things. Um, I'm going to organize the box. You know, we haven't really organized. I haven't really been through that in a while. And then I've got some other plans. I've got this package, this big box and that big box right there. So I'm really excited about that stuff. I'll probably show you that in a different video. And I also got, let me show you, beautiful brand new trolling motor. So I am going to install that on the Key West as well. Probably, no, definitely in a different video. And I'm really excited about that. So got ourselves a new trolling motor for the Key West. We're just kind of go check it out, clean it, organize it, clean out some old life jackets or whatever, just see what we got in there and and get it get it back into like tip top shape so that we can go out on it and do some more videos and stuff. So I'm gonna get my Grundens on because it's a lot warmer in Florida than it is in Louisiana, but uh, it's still a little chilly, you know, I'm still a Florida girl. 69, 70 degrees is just, a little chilly. <laughs> so if I get wet, I don't I don't really want to get too wet because it's gonna be cold. So I'm gonna throw my grindings on and I'll be outside and I'm gonna take a look at the boat. So we're gonna check it out right now. Okay, so I haven't been this lighting is funny. Maybe I should go out here. Is this better? So I haven't been home for the last two weeks. I've been in Louisiana trying to catch Wahoo, but we had bad weather the entire time. Didn't catch any Wahoo. I haven't been home for two weeks. Uh, last time I was here, we just picked the boat up from getting a service and um, a few things got repaired. I'll put the clips in right now. All right. Just put the boat in the water, off the ramp at Phil Foster over here by the Blue Harry Bridge. And we're driving her home. She got some stuff fixed. Um, new depth finder, live well had to get fixed, little things like that. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. <laughs>
and um, so I haven't cleaned it since then. And it really hasn't had a really good professional cleaning in a long time, which you'll notice. Jeez, it's bright out here. It's a beautiful day. Okay. So, here's the boat. First of all, these uh, decals are falling off. Uh, I don't know what I can do about that, but maybe I'll get some new ones. At the bottom you can see it's a little yellow and the striping's coming off, but I'm not too worried about that right now. It's more the inside I'm worried about. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, these leaves are so annoying. They leave stains. All of our bungee cords broke off in there. Stains. Huh. Okay. Um, the guys that replaced all of this got replaced. Um, so the guys cleaned this all out and they even replaced that. The uh, fuel separator um, thing. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. And they cleaned this all out in here. It looks really nice. So kind of helped me out there. Okay. Hat. This is the live well. The live well got fixed also because it was broken. So that's got a little bit of mold in it. Not bad. Just clean it out and let it air out. And this looks good all up here. See, it doesn't look bad. Let's see. All in there. We got. Oh, there's the brush. Okay. Up here. It's not too bad. The seats and everything are still in really good shape. Um, and then up here, I want to clean this hatch out. This front hatch, which I'm scared of because I always get spiders in it. And the anchor hatch up there. And then I want to replace this whole thing and this, I don't know if you can see it, the aux, the aux cord where you put in the music, it's all corroded, it does not work anymore because this little rubber cap broke off and, you know, corrosion happened, so. And then this little system I don't think works anymore, so I might have to figure out how to redo that. We've got a new one of those. This is working fine. The only thing is the sun has caused this uh, screen to fade a little bit, so we might need to get a cap or something to protect that. Same with this one. This is gray, everything's working. Never use that. And then the batteries. The batteries are great. That's the little knob we use to turn the batteries on and off. And um, everything looks good down there. So I don't have too much to do. So I'm just going to probably get some bleach and some soap, scrub, do some detail work. I wanna, like I said, uh, get a new sound, little Bluetooth audio thing, whatever, new sound thing put in. I wanna do C deck on the floor, which I'll probably YouTube or do a video about that too. And clean out the hatches. I'm gonna install my trolling motor. And I got a bunch of fun stuff planned for the, for the little Key West. I'm gonna get to work, just start cleaning, and get the boat ready for all the new stuff I want to do for it. So, could put my hair up, get the hose out. Oh, all right. Shoes. I found my shoes. I've been looking for these. show you the inside so it's pretty dirty in here oh my gosh I'm gonna take all these leaves out first because I don't want them going down that little drain and clogging it up so I'm gonna take all this out yep. then get the hose out and the soap and stuff okay 
So, since the staining on the boat and whatever, it's pretty dirty, whatever, you know, I just said screw it. And I got out the pressure washer, okay? This, we got at Walmart for like, I don't know how much, but it's amazing. It's great for a lot of different things, especially cleaning the boat when it's really dirty. It's just this little pressure washer, so I'm gonna plug this baby in and get this done quick and the right way. This all looks pretty. I did all the inside of that. And inside of this, all the floor. Um, I still couldn't get all this out. I don't know, I'm probably gonna need some professional help, but I did all that in there. Pressure washed in here. This still won't come out. And. Yep. Okay, so I think I'm done for the day. Um, I put my pressure washer back together. I'm going to let the life jackets sit out while I let the, that hatch dry out because um, I don't want to put them all back in there when it's wet because I feel like that just defeats the whole purpose of getting everything organized and clean again. So I'm going to leave those out for overnight for the day, come back tomorrow and finish cleaning those, put them back in the hatch when it's all dry, and then go and see what else I got to do around the boat. I, I do want to pressure wash the bimini top of the boat because the other side has like a bunch of mold on it and it's nasty. We did a lot of pressure washing today, some scrubbing, still got some stains in the boat and also I have the finish of the boat seems like it needs some kind of waxing or something because when I started spraying it down the water that was collecting in the corners was like a milky white like chalky like the finish is coming off the boat or something. So if you know what to do about that, please leave a comment below and let me know. Cause I don't really know if it needs like a waxing or like a refinish, I don't know. That's it for today. I'm gonna just clean everything up and then I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully finish it all up and be good with what I can do myself. And then look into getting something professionally done.